Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us here today. You know, today is, it's a great day. Every day is a great day because number one, you should be creating your day first thing in the morning. Are you creating the day you're going to have? Are you creating the day you want? Are you creating the things and people and different ways of doing things coming into your life? Are you creating that first thing in the morning? If you're not, then you're going to have a day that is just happenstance. It's just going to flow to you from whatever direction. So that's a choice. And then you take a look at, okay, well, I'm going to create my day. What decisions am I making? So the next thing I'm going to ask you is what is the first action step you take in the morning? Everyone is different. So there's no right or wrong answer in this. So don't think there is. There's not. So what is the action step you take first thing in the morning after you get up and brush your teeth and use the restroom and all that stuff? What is your action steps that you take for your life? Not necessarily just your business. What action steps are you taking to, what are you going to do? Grow? You're going to expand? You're going to get more skills? What are you doing? Because the first action steps that we take, it's just, uh, I am typing and I get a little bit confused. That's normal. But the action steps that we take are how we set our day. It's not just a matter of setting your life because you do that regardless. So what I like to do, you may or may not relate to this, is, <clears throat> excuse me, and I've been doing this for years. State of being. This is just a question for you. Okay, and there we go. Okay. I start my day, I create my day before I even get out of bed, before my feet even hit the floor. I feel gratitude, I feel presence of the Lord, I ask Him to be with me every day and to guide me, because you have free will to do anything and everything, and I don't want to get this religious because it's really not, but when you invite the good being, the universe, the source, the creator, whatever you want to call it, into your life then you're going to find that your free will will be enhanced because you're going to get more guidance guardian angels you have those too so use them to your benefit they're there to help you so where do you get the most benefit for what you are looking to achieve we all have a goal we all have a plan we all have thoughts and emotions knowing that emotions that we have turn to manifestations so asking yourself right now what are my first action steps that I take now that I take during my day or for my morning when I'm getting started this is how you're going to set your day you're going to set your day first thing in the morning before you even come into realization that you're doing it you're setting your day you're setting the tone for the day you're going to have you're setting the tone for what you are attracting to you so there's no right or wrong way to set your day it just depends on each individual person each one of us what do we want to have come and happen in our day and like I said, I always start my day, before, I always set my day, I always create my day before I even get out of bed. That way, I'm still in that phase of brain where you're not all the way awake and you're not asleep. You're right there between Alpha Delta. You're right there. And that is the best place to create your day because you're negative. You don't have, I don't want to say a negative negative, but you don't have a energy flow going to anything it's it's neutral neutral is a better word it's neutral so i do that and you know what way back in the day when i way back in the day when i was corporate executive 
I didn't always start my day. My day, I felt, was always planned out according to the schedule I had and what I had to do, how many people I had to talk to, you know, what I had to get done business-wise, getting that done. So my day was, I felt, was already scheduled for me. But then when I learned that I had control of my day, that I had control of what I was bringing into my life, I decided that, and you can do the same, it's up to you, I decided that, you know what, my subconscious has been running the show way too long. Because we all know our subconscious, it loves us, it's protecting us, it's keeping us safe. The thing our subconscious doesn't realize because it doesn't have the program to realize it until you reprogram your subconscious is that there's change that you need to make in your life in order to have success. Now, a lot of you are going to see this and you're going to go, well, my subconscious isn't really running everything. I think about it during the day and my con, you know, I'm thinking about it and I'm, I'm making it happen. Well, that's true. Your conscious mind is thinking all day long, but in the background. So a good, a good way to explain this is on your computer. Have, if you don't check the box to stop background programs from running on your computer right now that you have that you're looking at this on, maybe it's your phone or whatever, there are background programs running on your computer. So the same goes for our mind. If we don't reprogram the subconscious for what it is we want to achieve and to accomplish and who we want to be in our lives, the subconscious will keep running the same program. It runs it continually. Granted, the subconscious keeps us alive. It keeps us fruitful. It keeps us breathing and seeing and hearing and all this stuff we do, walking, talking. It keeps us doing all the things we do. The subconscious is also not that good if you want to change a program. If you want to mix it up in your thinking with your conscious mind, that thought is not going to stick unless it's repetition. If you're thinking a conscious thought or a conscious action and you do it over and over and over, then you're going to change the program in the conscious mind and the subconscious mind for that and it will become a habit just like driving okay you first learn to drive what 12 13 14 right in that area maybe 16 for some areas you had to repeatedly learn how to drive getting it messed up being nervous driving the car stopping the brakes too far or do too fast and bam and you're slamming yourself and whatever happens you know when you're learning how to drive but after time now you can go anywhere and you don't even pay attention to your driving how many people actually pay attention to their driving really think about it uh, for me no i don't i get in the car i know how to drive i know how to put it in gear i know how to push the pedals i know when to brake i know when not to brake i know when to turn my signals on i know i know what to do and my subconscious is running that program of driving the same is happening for you. Whatever you're doing, you're running the program. So what I'm asking you now is where do you want to be? What do you want to do? What is most important for you? This is you individually to start your day, your life. Is it decisions? Is it choice? Or is it to be in a state of being? And like I said, there's no wrong answer for this. This is all up to you. So I can tell you what I do and I can tell you what I teach. And if you choose to use that, that's fine. No problem. If you choose not to, that's fine. No problem. Because the end of the result for me as I teach and as I encourage people is it's all about the skill I'm giving you about the training I'm giving you this little bitty step right here that we're doing right now is a skill that you're learning you may not think so now but if you do this on repetition 
you're going to find it's going to become more and more of a conscious program in your subconscious mind. And you're going to find that you're going to have more come to you that, that you want to come, not more come to you that you don't want to come. So what I teach and what I do myself is I like to be in a state of being first. A state of being is the state of mind that I have that I am successful now. I'm always successful. I am prosperous. I am making X amount of money, which I never focus on the money. I focus on what I'm giving and what I'm doing. And I will get that money to do what I want to do with. So then I decide, I, I look at what I'm doing, my state of mind, and that's good. I'm happy. Granted, I'm like any other person. I fall off the band sometimes and say, you know what? Is this really working? Do, am I doing this right? Am I mad? And I have the second guessing thing. Everybody does. Don't beat yourself up over it. It's normal. It is human nature. You don't have to stay there. Acknowledge it. Let it go. So then I decide, what am I going to do next? Do I make a decision or do I make a choice? So then what I do is I make a choice. I will say to, you know, myself or to whoever I'm speaking to. Usually if you talk in the mirror, do mirror talk. Oh my gosh, guys, you're going to find it so amazing. I actually did a training on mirror talk. You should look at that. So knowing that the subconscious is going to stop you at every turn, right? You have to make a conscious choice of what you're going to do. So every day I make a conscious choice in my state of being that I am prosperous, I am successful, I am happy, I am healthy, I am wealthy. That's a mantra that I, I say to myself. Then I decide, okay, I made this choice of what I'm going to step next step is. Like today I'm going to do videos. I'm going to do like probably about 10 videos. I've already started and I've got you know several already under my belt. So I'm going to do videos and then I look at my decision. What will I do? What will my topics be? What will I be working on? What will I be teaching? That's a decision. You make a decision to do it. For me, I do a state of being first. Then I make a choice of what I'm going to do. A choice. Then I make a decision to do it. And when I, for me, when I do it this way, I find it flows easily for me, to me, with me. Again, you can use this in any format you want. You don't have to use it in the way I do. Mix it up, change it up until you find a flow, a rhythm that you could easily flow with to where you are getting results in your life and what your business is doing and what the income you're making. Everyone wants to make more income. It's the natural. We're supposed to. We're supposed to be prosperous. We were, we were born to be prosperous. We were born to have. We were born to do. We were born to be. It's just the way we were, we were created. That's the way we're supposed to be. But you have to have skills to do what you want to do. Anything you've done in life, you've had to learn. You had to learn how to ride a bicycle. You had to learn how to ride a skateboard. You had to learn how to drive a car. You had to learn how to ride a horse. You've had to learn, oh, hey, I got another one. You've had to learn how to surf, right? You had to learn how to swim. You've had to learn your whole life. Every step of the way you've had to learn. If you've been in the corporate world, if you've been in any kind of a business, any kind of a job where you've had to, to do things, you've had to learn the skills to do that job. You've had to learn how to do the dishes. You've had to learn how to mow the lawn. You've had to learn how to fix a car. You've had to learn how to put your shoes on and tie them. You had to learn how to dress yourself. You have, and have you ever seen, and I'm sure you have, everyone has, seen the little kid that is, <laughs> he's in town with mom and dad or, you know, one or the other, and they're wearing mismatched socks They've got on a shirt that doesn't even come close to matching their pants or their shorts. And it's sometimes the shirt's on backwards, the t-shirt's on backwards or something. And 
do you change them do you tell them oh no you can't go out like that no you let them be and then you just say you dress this self that is learning so throughout your whole life you've learned every step of the way what to do what not to do and you've learned the consequences of when you go to town looking like a ding dong or looking like I dress myself and there are some adults out there right now that I wonder why they're still dressing themselves if you've seen the ones with the pants hanging down to the knees never have figured that one out but that's another story so if your business isn't going where you want to go now where are you at in your thinking are you in a state of being are you making the choices are you making decisions are you setting your day first thing in the morning are you setting what you're going to do and how you're going to do it are you setting and creating what's going to come for you because if you're not you're just asking anything and everything to flow into your lifestyle so it's up to you if you want to do that or not but keep in mind that a state of mind in growing a business and having an income that is flourishing that is keeping coming which is a residual income you have to create that first you have to create that pattern you have to create that mindset you have to create that emotional state to manifest that it all starts with a state of being it starts with choices and it starts with your decisions if you're not making those and you don't know how to get the right flow try different formats use maybe a decision first then a choice then a state of being use maybe a choice then a state of being then a decision whatever works for you you will know but anything you can do to release and remove the limiting beliefs that are stopping you from learning what you need to learn that are stopping your business from growing you're meant to grow and to prosper you're meant to be that person and the more you are in tune with your emotions and seeing that happening and visualizing it you know you can do and be and have anything in the world you want you've learned everything you've learned so far look where you're at you can walk talk ride a bike ride a skateboard or whatever I don't know about the skateboard thing guys because you know what for some reason I can never balance the little bugger enough to get myself going good got a grandson that's trying to teach me and you know what the poor guy yeah we'll leave that one for another day because that is a story in a video into itself it is hilarious so grow your business grow your mindset and grow your income they're all connected and they are connected to help you to grow and to be and to have the world revolves around be do have how many people are you going to help today how many lives are you going to touch how much value are you going to give to the marketplace how many decisions to be that person are you going to make today what you do today creates tomorrow so take a look at that what you do today is creating the life you have tomorrow it's true it's a fact it is physics okay please like share and subscribe here and love to see you hit the dinger bell on YouTube for us like share and subscribe we want to grow our YouTube channel so get over there please subscribe to our channel and invite your friends over we've got like 300 videos over there it's just now time to start promoting it okay I will talk to you later and I wish you all the best and prosper it's what life is meant to be prosperity so make your choices make your decisions and what's your state of being I'll talk to you later bye bye